You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we'll be recapping Raw from September 11th. Yes. I remember the date because of how the show began. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this was a uh, good episode of Raw. Yeah, it was. It was uh, pretty complete in, I guess, every aspect that it could be. Yeah. I I thought that the week before's was a little bit better just because of, you know, John Cena being awesome oh. john cena's part was certainly a lot better and i i don't know like i said i think the fact that i didn't expect much from last week's row because it was a holiday show right. kind of helped yeah but either way good no yeah, definitely it's what we expect from raw nowadays or at least that's what um, i expect from raw nowadays yeah i, w- I would say since lesnar's probably been back on tv the show's been better probably since building with joe I guess so. Great balls of fire. I don't know. I, the the Lesnar Heyman parts are usually like the least favorite for me. Right, now. but I mean, it still adds your champions on the show, and it's a focus. True. So, I think I think Braun's really carrying the feud more than oh oh yeah no more no, than no, 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 have, no. having them around. Yeah, so. no doubt about it. But I mean, you still need an opponent for him. Well, obviously, <laughs> but he he was doing a pretty good job without Lesnar being there right sort of saying yeah <laughs> anywho yeah. huh yep so uh the the show opens with uh, uh, a moment of silence for 9-11 mm-hmm. which is to be expected yep which so, they had to put something up on the screen otherwise the crowd wouldn't have stayed silent you know that oh yeah of yeah. course because, because they were starting to hoot and holler and all this other stuff and I was mm-hmm. like, really yep well uh, yeah. well that's that's wwe fans yeah wow bunch of animals yeah. are you including us as well absolutely nice we're just more civilized animals really slightly more civilized I guess so anyway yeah so uh to kick off the show proper we had uh, a match similar to last week's with uh jason jordan but this time he's facing roman reigns yeah. so this kind of does a lot of things with you're elevating jason jordan uh-huh. and you're getting cena and reigns having some comp- competition between each other. Uh-huh. So, it's, it's good. It's like, it's just it is good, but it's funny because they're literally giving him the Davari treatment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I was I was thinking that um when when they uh did that. I guess I guess when the match happened this week is when I first thought of it. Yeah. Because they did the same thing but with TJP and Rich Swan. Mhm. And they both took turns beating up on Davari. So it's just pretty funny that yeah. they, they they like oh that's a great idea let's steal it from the cruiserweights hey <clears throat> gotta steal something from them right. gotta do what you gotta do yeah but uh, if yeah. you ain't cheating you ain't trying yeah that's true um, Jason Jordan actually was getting a crowd reaction in this match I yeah. mean obviously because he was facing Reigns yeah but. it's it's one of those okay how it's how do you get someone over put them against someone that everybody hates yeah. so and. Uh, I think John's completely right here. What? Reigns is digging his own hole. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, obviously Jordan put on a good... Well, the good match, the the match was good in general. Yeah. Um, Jason Jordan certainly... He got a good match out of both of them, mm-hmm. which isn't surprising. No, no, no. Um, he uh, hit a few uh, Northern Light suplexes again, mm-hmm. just like... Uh, last week and yeah. then he was almost able to get reigns t- to tap out to a cross face mm-hmm. but you know reigns isn't gonna tap oh. out um but and roman inevitably wins with the spear yep which kind of came out of nowhere actually yeah yeah he set up for it a couple times right and yeah but uh the actual spear was a little abrupt but you know it was a, it was almost a half yeah. hour oh, yeah, segment yeah, yeah. Anyway. it was probably all right guys we need to finish this yeah Let's so do it whoops um but yeah after after the match scene is in the back watching the the tv and charlie comes up and asks what he thinks about reigns's victory well actually right after the match ended uh roman went up to jason jordan and shook his hand oh yes and, yes you know, they did shake hands. good match rookie even though you've been you know with wwe since like fcw and stuff like that and roman's only <laughs> been there since 2011 i think right um Anyway. But yeah, back to what you were saying. But yeah, uh, Charlie asks Cena what he thinks of the match, and Cena goes, I got something to say. 
we're going to go tell Roman to his face. Mm-hmm. And then he goes out to the ring. Yeah. Um, and then he grabs, comes out, grabs two microphones, goes, Roman, here, here, this isn't a nightstick to go with your tactical pants. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Cena. Yep. And then, you know, he brings up the same thing from last week, which Reigns had said, why did it take you so long to beat a rookie? And yeah. John basically reiterated it. Mm-hmm. And then, Except uh, for, obviously, the roles were reversed yeah. this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, John was basically like, all right, I'm here to cut you down to size, pal. You're uh, you're not doing your job. Mm-hmm. And then Roman was like, oh, well, the WWE doesn't need you. You need the WWE because you're not making it in Hollywood, which, uh, you know, he's kind of growing his hair out for a role in a new movie. I was going to say, he's certainly, <laughs> he usually has really short hair. Yeah. But um, but it's, it's just funny because, like, Roman's shots are like, nothing's true. Yeah. Oh, but, oh and then when uh, he said, oh, since you've been gone, I've been selling out arenas and everything. And then that this moment people were posting pictures of twitter on everything behind the hard camera empty seats i I don't get it when Uh, we went there was it wasn't empty well you gotta remember that was the first raw on long island in years yeah i guess that's true so i think i'm curious to see what how smackdown would have done because smackdown seems like the show that's having the bigger problem with drawing drawing. yeah um which that doesn't yeah, make it's sense. not like it was a holiday. It was like obviously a no. I don't. It's I don't. It's not one of those things like you know. Years after people were yeah cautious well, c- because well yeah I I don't think that that would be a problem because that would probably be a an issue with people just like in general yeah like that I guess would that's true yeah that would be deterring people who wouldn't go out Normally, to begin with yeah um anyway. But yeah, like you said, he he referenced the fact that Roman was doing what, not what able he, to do his... drawing like Cena used oh, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he can't anymore. Yeah. Despite the fact that they promote John Cena being on everything well mm-hmm. in advance, this way they get people to come because putting Roman on the the thing doesn't quite you know yeah do it. Hey, apparently, the house show sales have been good with Roman main eventing. That's this was a while back that I had heard it. So. Well, when his his initial championship run, that they were claiming that that was the case, mm-hmm. but then like months later, the house shows that Dean was main eventing were doing much better than the ones that Roman was doing. Nah. So, who who's to say for sure? It's true. What uh what the truth is and whatever because yeah. you know the WWE is never gonna tell the truth about right. anything. Wow. Yeah. Um, I think at this point it was when Cena was starting to get out of the ring, right? And then Reigns was like, well, where are you going? And well, yeah, cause, little bitch again, yeah, probably. Yeah, because um, Cena had finished yeah. his piece, and then he's like, okay, I'm leaving. And then Reigns decided that he wanted to speak yeah. up. <laughs> um, I don't remember exactly what he said, but that's when John grabbed the mic and said, he said, all right, I'm, I'm finished playing around. I'm really going to uh, yeah. get well, you that's, this time. Because um, that's when uh, Reigns had said the thing. Because Reigns didn't speak until, oh, until, until he, Cena tried to I leave. I got gotcha. you. Okay, and yeah, that's yeah. when he said the thing about the Hollywood, uh, the Hollywood thing. Mm-hmm. And then that's when Cena went, <laughs> all right, so you want to fight dirty? Yeah. And um, that's uh, yeah. And then Cena said, all right, no mercy. I'll be like a drug test. You won't pass me <laughs> or get past you me. You ain't getting oh, past me. Oh, man. That was good. Yeah. So it's just, but I mean, it's not like they're saying anything that's not public but, knowledge. It's it's true, but, but the they, fact that they're putting a they're shining a spotlight right. on everything, yes. and it's everything that the fans are like criticizing him about, and it really seems like this is a a sink or swim kind of thing. Like you need to get past this. Yeah. If you cannot, well, this is then... the last straw. There's nobody else that can help him elevate his game. Yeah. If it's not Cena, so and and the the crazy part about the whole thing is that there's really not that much wrong with him, minus the fact that he really doesn't doesn't have the charisma to be the face of the company. Yeah, that's really what's wrong. Yeah. That he can't 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 get over with the fans. Yes, yeah. because. And it's it's not that he can't; it's just where he is. Mm-hmm. Because when when he, the Shield first broke up, everybody loved Roman. Everybody did. The fact that he was in a bunch of main event matches, mm-hmm. they did could not care. Like you know, what I mean, yeah, they yeah. they supported him. Right. He got cheered constantly. 
because um i was watching it was a it was like a ladder match Mm -hmm. for the the world title he was in it so was cena orton i think sheamus might have been in Mm -hmm. to a bunch of different people and like when he was climbing up on the ladder everyone was going crazy mm -hmm. yeah this was like in 2014 oh okay but it's just like there's really no explanation why they turned on him minus the fact that they it, wanted it to be more natural. Yeah. And he's not Dan O'Brien. Yeah. Well, so, I think that he was taken away from them. They kind of felt like, all right, this is your replacement for Daniel Bryan, and we don't like it. We yeah. don't care what you give us. We're not going to like it because it's not Daniel Bryan. Pretty much. Yeah. Just it, because, you know, Daniel Bryan, and it's no one's fault, you know. Yeah. So. But moving anyway. on. Yeah. So up next, we had <laughs> Sasha Banks versus Emma. And Alexa Bliss was on commentary for this match. Uh, yes. This was a decent match. Yeah. Um, it was kind of short, though. Uh, yeah, but, you know. Not really. You don't expect long. long well, especially considering the fact that this is the second match already, and this was, what, at 8, 840? 8, 8, yeah, something like that. So, And you had a long match at the mm-hmm. beginning. You knew you yeah. were going to have a long match at the end. So, so Yeah, and then uh, halfway through the match, Nia Jax came out wearing regular clothing. It's true. Which, uh... You're not supposed to do that. Well, she's been in uh, all those, uh... I think they, they were doing all types of plus-size modeling that uh-huh. she was doing over the internet. Uh, not over the internet. Over the uh, internet. Yes. <laughs> um, now I'll leave that to Ted Cruz. Um, <laughs> they, uh, they posted all the videos over the internet of her. And, um, yeah, on the runway and all things like that. So gotcha. I think WWE's finally being okay with, I guess, showing the plus-size woman. I guess, but, you know, her wrestling gear doesn't really help. No, no, not at all. So that's the confusing yeah, part. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who, no, last week they her they uh, they changed it up a little bit. I don't think it was as, I don't know, covered up, I guess, her, her body. I, guess, I don't much. know. But, yeah. like, my point is that it's just, it doesn't really. Christine paid more attention to it. Uh, yeah. so. Gotcha. Yeah. Anyway. Let's uh let's go on to the actual story. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, eventually Emma ends up tapping out to the bank statement. Well, yeah, which... it was kind of inevitable. Mm. Um, but yeah, Nia Jax kind of just loomed over Alexa Bliss yeah. when they were uh, when they were on commentary <laughs> together. It was a little a little awkward and uncomfortable. But yeah. you know, because uh, Nia Jax obviously is not very happy with Alexa Bliss because she didn't give her her title mm-hmm. opportunity like That's, she promised which we will talk more about that later on yes um, yeah. all right so uh up next we had uh paul Heyman and brock lesnar come out mm-hmm. um dad uh, was really talking up yeah he, he's doing that a lot yeah i you think it could happen I, yeah, I was thinking it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a possibility. Because, well, what what Heyman had said that he kind of equated Brock to, not Brock. Uh, Braun. Braun to Brock when he was younger, mm-hmm. taking he, out the, the, the big he, names. Mm-hmm. Said that he was going to have a match with John Cena later on, which they had announced earlier. Yeah. Um, and how, because Brock had toppled... Um, I guess he, he said the, the rock. rock. Yeah, uh, I, he Kurt Angle. H, he no, he never he never fought Triple H when his first run. No, I guess yeah, you're right. Um, because they beat the Rock I for the title. Yeah, well, yeah, that was at SummerSlam, yeah. but um, well, but he probably regardless. said he might have said the Big Show. Mm-hmm. I think he probably did say the Big Show, but Makes Big sense. Show was obviously a much more opposing name back then. Yeah. Um. Uh, but yeah. And then um, he said that he could even beat Brock, and then he switches it to Brock's going to be ready to fight. Mm-hmm. Fighter, are you ready or whatever he was saying? Yeah. Yeah, well, no, yeah. I guess it was a UFC thing, yeah. and he kept on repeating, fighter ready, yeah. fighter ready, over yeah. and over again. And it was starting to linger on like uh, Paul Heyman does. Yeah, or someone missed the cue. Mm-hmm. That's true too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess yeah, yeah, And Strowman's music hit too mm-hmm. late, or he wasn't ready just yet. Oh, so Strowman, Strowman came out. Um, he went into the ring face to face with Brock. Mm-hmm. He went after Brock, and then um, Brock caught him and hit him with a belly to back suplex. Yeah, he no, he 
Yeah. Was that what it was? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, Braun rolled. Oh, back. rolled through it. And yeah, he rolled stood it right and up. <laughs> that was the look on Heyman's face was fantastic. Yeah. Brock looked scared too. Oh yeah. Um, but, but we we've never really seen this, or I should, shouldn't say we've never seen, but you don't see too many guys that are as athletic and uh, agile as a Braun. Braun. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, Brock was the first one. Yeah. And really, since then, hasn't been too many. Yeah. Like, the big show for his size is athletic. Right. But, but it's not, not the same yeah. as saying someone who can move like... Like Braun does. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, he uh, he gets up immediately, and Brock looks very concerned, <laughs> which he should, <laughs> because uh, Strowman then picks him up and hits him with a double-fisted uh, choke slam, yeah. then picks him up, hits him with a running power slam. Oh, man, I love when he hits the power slam on uh, Brock because he puts all his body weight into it, too, because, like we said, that Brock's so much heavier than the other guys that he's been power slamming. Yeah. So uh, he then picks up the universal title and lays it across yeah. Brock's chest. Yeah. And uh, apparently he thinks it's going to be his soon. Yeah. And it's, it's like, a possibility. Uh, the only... Because obviously they're building him up to be a legitimate champion, but a lot of the times when they start... When they it's make, not the first match that. Well, it's more of they make the build so one sided that mm. it seems like it's just going to be happen. the story of Brock right. overcoming, not right. Braun just overpower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because every every time they faced off, Braun stood tall, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's the story they told at SummerSlam. Yeah, right, right, right. So it's true. It, it's kind of hard to assume that that's what they're doing here. Mm -hmm. It could be that. Well, I don't know. What um if Lesnar's supposed to be around? Because supposedly he's not, right? Yeah. I thought he was just signed, uh, not signed, scheduled to be at No Mercy, and yeah. then that was it. So it could be that he drops the title and then shows up again around the Royal Rumble, or it's just a one and done with, with Strowman, and then he just goes away and with the title. Some, yeah. So that, that wouldn't be good. If he was like supposed to be at the next pay per view or make, Survivor Series, then yeah, I Survivor would. Series? Next pay -per or they do they have a pay per view? It's gonna be October. One. Are they alternating these two months or no? They, sh they should have one at the end of October. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know what it is, no. but there should be one. Um, anyway, uh, if there was gonna be another one, he was gonna be at, then it would make sense for right. him to lose, and then Strowman win. Yeah. TLC is in October. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I don't think we're going to get a tables, ladders, and chairs match. Oh, uh, between those two? Yeah. <laughs> Although, he might be there. It's in Minnesota. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if they add that yeah. on. Um, yeah. Well, still got over a week, uh, week and a half to go till. So, yeah. No mercy. Yeah. And so. then and a month before that at uh, right. TLC. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, up next, we had uh, Goldust versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah. It's a little bit of a surprise to see Goldust on uh, Monday Night Raw Wrestling. I want to know who his protege is. <laughs> Did you see the What Culture video? Yes. Yeah. Um, this, I mean, I thought this was decent for what it was, just for the simple fact that they used, well, Bray cut a promo before the match saying that Goldust is just like Finn Balor and he hides behind the face paint and everything. It just worked. Yes. It, it, was, a, it was a nice coincidence. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, obviously Bray won their match. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, you know what I was really, really hoping happened? What? When Bray had Goldust set up for the sister Abigail, and Goldust turned around and kissed him. That would have been cool. <laughs> just because that would yeah. have been so gold. If, if he went for like one really early, yeah, and, and then, then Goldust he... just locked lips. With yeah, that would be good. I, I think uh... I think they're too afraid of toying with Bray. Too yeah. much though, <clears throat> especially now because they kind of screwed everything up. Well, yeah, I think oh, it's just it always feels like they always try to keep him strong. All right, so but, I'm gonna go off topic here for a second. Sure. All right, I know. Just it's it's not off topic, but it is. Okay. All right, so you know how they're teasing all the Hardys broken and everything like that, uh -huh. and in TNA when the Hardys did it, it was all the Hardys. Uh -huh. That nothing was written. Yes. In the WWE, could this end up like Bray Wyatt? Um, I, the whole broken thing. I think it's more likely that they... Or are they going to give the Hardys what they want? I don't think it's going to happen. You think it's never going to... Uh, I don't think it's going to happen with the Hardys. Yeah. Matt might be able to 
do okay, something. Just Matt. He, he but I don't think it's going to be like that because the fans love it too much. And Matt's completely over. Well, and... Well, they're over, I should say. And, and the Hardys are going to have a little more say Mm -hmm. in what goes on yeah well that's what i was kind of wondering if wwe was gonna because like obviously the idea of having wrestlers have full creative control it's a terrible it's not a good idea from wcw um but like john cena like triple h obviously triple h is one of the decision makers but before he in fact was like one of the guys in charge like in the uh, late 2000s, Mm -hmm. they had the pull to, okay, I think this is a good idea. Let's do it like this. So I think that the Hardys are at least somewhat near that when Mm -hmm. it comes to an original storyline. Like maybe not the booking, but just the way they go about it. They're going to... So I I, I don't see that happening. I just, I don't know. It was just a thought that was in my head just because we know what happens when... Well, the... They yeah. pr- prove it week in and week out that yes. it's not a good idea. But yeah, anyway, back to Bray Wyatt and Goldust. Yes. So after the match, Bray Wyatt pulls out his handkerchief or his toilet paper or whatever was was in his pocket. I, I thought it was underwear. <laughs> Maybe it was his underwear. It was giant white, un, uh, tidy whiteies. Yeah, and then he started wiping Goldust's face, removing his face paint. He's just a man, or whatever he was saying. It's something like that, I and think. And then uh, Balor comes out and... Chases Bray away. Yes. The eater of sandwiches left. Yeah. He ran away. Yeah. Oh. I love, I love that nickname. Yep. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, Charlie yeah. interviews uh, Seamus and Cesaro mm-hmm. asking uh, about their match against the club tonight and is it, if it's going to be a distraction for their match at No Mercy. Yeah. Is this when Sheamus and Cesaro talked about the clo- you know them being a unit and everything, and they're not like Dean and Seth because there's full trust there and yes. everything like that? Yeah, okay, that's what I thought this yeah. was. Yeah, and then they say that, um, like you said, unlike Dean and Seth, like everything's going good now, but yeah. but if things start to Fall go apart. the wrong way, mm-hmm. then they you don't know what they're going to have. They're going to have chaos. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so up next we got the scene. Wow. We started to get the Sheamus and Cesaro versus the club match. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dean and Seth were on commentary. Yes. And for some unknown reason, they had binoculars. Yeah, that was weird. Um, I didn't really quite Seth get... Seth didn't know how to use them. Well, yeah, because he, was... he had them backwards. Yes. But that was strange. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think... But, the... Well, yeah, because Sheamus and Cesaro came out, and Dean and Seth were sitting at commentary, and uh, they, I guess... Seamus and Cesaro were yelling at him. He's like, this is a uh, a family show. You can't say that. <laughs> Um, and I guess would they start getting into it, and then the club ran up and started fighting with them as well, yeah. and then the well, match because they have to get involved. Yeah, obviously, Duh. that's the, we're we're not here to sit and watch. We're here to fight, <laughs> be so, mean and make green. Yeah, but they uh, they all start fighting, and then the referees kind of just break mm-hmm. it up, and then they cut to commercial. So I guess the match is canceled. Mm-hmm. Um, and then. But backstage, Dean and Seth would they? Oh yeah, they're yelling at yeah, they're yeah. yelling at Kurt Angle, saying they demanded a match with both the club and Sheamus and yeah. Cesaro. And uh, Angle said, oh, "Well, you guys got to find two tag to or up a tag team to uh, be with you guys to face him." And then uh, Dean said something stupid. He was like, "I don't care if I have to get go to Disney World or Di- <laughs> wherever. Which is it? Disneyland is in." Anaheim? D- or D- Disneyland is in Anaheim. Yeah, okay. Yes. So he said Disney World, and I'm going to go. I don't care if I have to go get Batman, which isn't a part of them. <laughs> oh, Dean. Was it, who was the other one? There was a Disney character and then a superhero. Yeah, maybe. Did you say Mickey? Not Mickey Mouse. I, I, I Mickey thought it was Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Yeah, maybe it was Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse and Batman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dean. <laughs> Kurt goes, well, you can't get those people because they're not real. Yeah. Batman would make a great partner, though. <laughs> Oh, and then we got the announcement that Oscar will be joining the Raw roster. I can't remember. Did we say this was a good idea or a bad idea? Well, I, I think that the women are showcased a little more on Raw, so uh, good idea in okay. my mind. Well, no, SmackDown's be- the place where. Yeah, yeah. No, I just I could because we had this conversation last yeah, week or the week I, before. I think Raw we said was the right place for her to go. Yeah, it's possible. 
Just, it makes sense. Like I could see Naya taking the title at No Mercy and then holding it for a couple months, and then Asuka debuts because she's out for however long with her uh, collarbone. Shouldn't have been that long. Two months, maybe. Was, yeah, I think it was eight weeks. Maybe? She'll probably make her debut sometime around Survivor Series. Yeah. Like I wouldn't be surprised if, although that horsewoman match might interfere with it. I was gonna say if they have another Raw versus SmackDown dealy, mm. she's like a a surprise fifth entrant. Yeah, I guess. Although that's they've true. already announced yeah, her, she's gonna. Yeah, yeah I don't know so. why they did it, but it was dumb. whatever. They they couldn't help themselves yeah, really. Apparently, they're good at that. Yeah. All right. So uh, after this, mm-hmm. or after the announcement, they have a backstage segment where Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss are watching the screen, and they're like, "Oh, oh Oscar's yeah, coming yeah. to coming to Raw." Mm-hmm. I thought this was a pretty good segment. Yeah. They're like, "Oh, that's that's not good." Yeah. We got to stick together. Yeah. Just, we're, we're friends. She's going on about being friends. Well, yeah, Alexa was. Well, Alexa Bliss decided that she's going to act like she's Nia Jax's friend again. Um, like this is this is crap. This fatal four way match. It should just be me and you. You know how it was supposed to be. And and Nia was like, oh, don't don't worry. Next week I talked to Kurt Angle. Next week we're going to have that match. Mm-hmm. So yeah, next week Nia and Alexa Bliss. A non on ah, non title match. Yeah. So right. But you know. She gonna get killed. Yeah. So. Yeah. But yeah, it, they the two of them actually have pretty good chemistry yeah. together. Yeah. Well, like I said, they're friends and they do a lot of Instagram videos mm-hmm. and all things like that. So yeah. it's it's kind of natural chemistry, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, which is why I think Braun and Roman work so well together because I believe they are friends. The outside. buddies. Yeah. Exactly. They're amigos. Uh, probably shouldn't talk about that though. Amigos. <laughs> Amigos, them being friends. Oh yeah, breaks kayfabe. Yeah. All right, so uh, moving on. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, it's your buddy. Yeah, we had Elias come out and sing a song. Um, he gets a good reaction every week. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm coming 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 around. Yeah. I'm, I'm still disappointed that every time he grabs his guitar after the match, that he doesn't hit the opponent. But He's after what Jeff happened, Jarrett. after what happened with Finn Balor, they're probably like, all right, maybe we won't do that. That too. <laughs> um, all right, so he comes out and sings his song, and then Kalisto comes out. Yeah. Why? I, it's fun. Well, Why? He, it was a scheduled match. Oh, I don't care about that. Why match. is Kalisto not in the cruiserweight division? Oh, that's a good point. Um, so no, 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 I, I want an answer. I don't have an answer. Why not? You put Enzo in there. Why wouldn't you try Kalisto before Enzo? Well, I think well Kalisto has been in cruiserweight matches. <laughs> Who's he been against? I'm just saying. I think he's been in cruiserweight matches. Has he? I think so. Oh. I know Sin Cara has. See, all right. So this this has been what maybe the third, third or fourth time these two have wrestled. I think so. Yeah, I think they wrestled on main event as well. Sure. But this kind of reminds me of what do we get? Kalisto and Ryback. Yeah. And Kalisto and Corbin, uh-huh. and it just was not very good well this this is we need an opponent for elias that's a face and yeah okay so now Kalisto. Oh, why don't you beat up apollo cruz um i don't know i think that that could that would make more sense yeah but i think this was more of okay we need someone who's gonna put on an entertaining match but ultimately get squashed yeah I know. so i i think they still want to push apollo at some point i guess um, but I, like I said, I think he would do very well in the cruiserweight division. It's true. He's made for it. It's just like, I mean, I understand Grand Metalik, right? Yeah. Yes. is isn't as marketable, but he's so good in the ring. That's true. Did you see the, the Fatal Five Way? I did. That, that was, was a really good. Very good. good. Yes. yes. Cedric Alexander and Grand Metalik work oh, fantastically yeah. together. I know. Um, Oh, man. Anyway, Elias uh, hits hits the drift away after a, yeah, a, a nice vicious power bomb, power bomb on, <laughs> yeah. on Kalisto. And, oh, Kalisto, you know, that was it. Kalisto's given up, what, 80 pounds at least. Uh, I would say. Yeah. But it was, it was, it was, you know. It was something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not, so, much, not much you can do here, really. Yeah, I, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. No. But. That's, that's my only gripe with it. It's true. It's fair. It's, yeah, exactly. It's a fair. I'm not yeah. complaint. You know, it's just like why. Yeah, there, there's other things they could do. Yeah. So uh, up next, we, later. we had, we have the, I guess the match that they showcased at the beginning of the show. Yeah. John Cena versus Braun Strowman. This is when we thought we're always going to end at ten o'clock again. <laughs> well, no, no because I, we knew about the eight man tag. No, I know. So, but the, 
the would this start the ten o'clock hour? Yeah, it was like it was a little before or I think. something like that yeah. when the match started. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, Strowman just, absolutely dude, dominates yeah, the whole it, match. It was hard for the crowd to get into this match just because of how slow Braun worked, just beating Cena down. Yep, because the first part of the match, Cena was just kind of dodging him and mm-hmm. moving out of the yeah, way. He was running and, away. Yeah. Um. But yeah, pretty much as soon as he gets his hands on him, Strowman was uh, all over him. Mm-hmm. Um, at some point, Cena is actually able to fight back and goes for an AA. Yeah. But he's un- un- unable to. Hit. Oh, that was when he just fell f- flat on his face, right? Mm-hmm. And Braun went down on him. Yeah. Oh wait, no, no, he did hit him with the yeah, AA. Yeah, but then he yeah, that's yeah. when he first tried, and then he, he yeah. was successful, and then Braun just kept rolling, rolled right out, of out of the ring. ring. Yep. And then Cena went out and. What did he, he chased him around? And yeah, he chased him around for a little bit. Braun then he just nailed him. him. Steps, no, he, he nailed him with the steps yeah, I, on the outside. I he dropped him on the steps, too. No, that was the end. That's how when he got disqualified. No, no, no. Not little, like picked him up and dropped him face first on the steps on the outside. I oh, he might happened. have done that. Yeah, too. but he was so far away from the steps, so it looked it didn't look oh, good. Oh, okay. Yeah. I might have just like not even noticed. I was walking in the room, and that's what I got told happened. So. <laughs> so but he nails him in the head with the steps. Referee's watching oh, and doesn't yeah, yeah, care. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is... This so like, it's like, this isn't when this you're supposed to get to swallow. <laughs> um, I'm going to let this one slip. So Strowman throws the stairs into the ring, mm-hmm. and then he picks up um, uh, Cena and then power slams him onto the steps. Yeah. Um, Cena did a good job making him look like a monster, that's for sure. Yeah. And that was Cena's job tonight. Mm-hmm. So, um, no shovel, but yeah, there's a disqualification, obviously. So, Cena wins, and that's all that really matters at the end mm-hmm. of the day. Um, similar to the match earlier on between Roman Reigns and Jason Jordan, uh, Roman is asked what he thinks of the match, and uh, so Braun showed no mercy, and neither will I. Yeah, so you know, yeah, corny catchphrases and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, up next we had uh, backstage. Dean and Seth were still walking around looking for tag partners. Yes. They ran right into two random guys. They're like, you guys ever been in a ring before? And Seth was like, no, not these two guys. And then they walk up to uh, Jamie Noble and uh, Dean Malenko and go, oh, you guys aren't in wrestling attire. And then all of a sudden you see them look and they're like, oh, what about these guys? And It was the Hardys and like, what a pop they got. Oh my god. Also, who else was it going to be? I, I know. We knew <laughs> who it was going to be, but it's just just that pop they get. Yeah. It's just amazing. Like, it's it's still amazing that 20 years later they are well, still as relevant as when they When Kurt Angle said that you guys need to find a team, mm. you heard all the chance of delay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So it's not... It's like... It's like for once, they know what the fans want, and they just yeah. give it to them. Well, yeah, they should have done it last night on SmackDown, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, after that, mm-hmm. the Miz Taraj comes out, the whole gang. This was such a good segment. It was, uh, yeah. It was It was a little different than normal, but well, it was good. Yeah, yeah. The match wasn't very good. Well, we'll was, get to that. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was getting at. Yeah. So... Um, they come out, and the Miz and Maurice announce that they're having a baby. And I had a problem with this segment in the fact that it was hard to tell if they were... If it was real or not. Yeah. Yeah. There was there was a sense of this is a joke the whole time. So, but I'm guessing it's true. I think yeah, they well, put on the... Well, it was funny. I was, well, I was talking to Christine about this, and I guess back when they were doing total divas who was it that was pregnant was it rosa something uh mendez maybe well that that is a person i don't know yeah. all right well anyway when whoever the person was she was pregnant she wasn't allowed to be on tv or near anybody just in case something happened it would, you know just be a liability uh. so it was just one of those things that added to the speculation oh was this true or was this oh true? okay yeah okay like, I, I see what you're yeah, getting yeah, at yeah. now um yeah which is again though We'll get through the segment. Okay. So, uh, so the Miz is going on about how this is the happiest thing mm-hmm. in his life. And then he says, unlike Kurt Angle, I'm going to be there for my kid. <laughs> so good. Which is really messed oh, up because so doesn't it doesn't make fun. any sense. Well, that's why it works, because it's not true. Yeah, I guess so. You can't get mad at something that's a blatant lie. <laughs> I guess. Um but he starts to make a speech, and then Enzo comes out to interrupt oh, yeah. 
um, Corey Graves was like, I don't even think his dad loves him or something <laughs> like that. He was like sp- stumbling on his words because he was trying to like really get into it, but I didn't think he wanted, you know, I don't know what Enzo's home life is or anything mm-hmm. like that, but I don't think he wanted to really get into it. Well, like obviously. That. Yeah. So um, as soon as Enzo comes well, out, the Miz starts yelling at him for interrupting him and explains that um, the reason why he's on 205 Live is because nobody likes him. You've been kicked off of tour bus, kicked out of the locker room, and that's coming from me. <laughs> yeah. He uh, he explained that the reason why is because no one respects him. There and... was nowhere left to go. That's why you're in 205 Live. Yeah, pretty much. Which, it kind of downplays the just the 205 Live roster. Because, you know, it's like an afterthought, kind of. Well... I know it wasn't meant that way. I was going to say, just... and I don't think he directly said that. No, because then he talked up about all the superstars there. But yeah. But I'm just saying that's... So, but yeah, he... Um, but yeah, like you said, he demeaned Enzo. And then Enzo came back with... Um, the reason why you weren't respected was because you Copied, stole from yeah. everybody. Chris Jericho, Ric Flair, whoever mm-hmm. else. Yeah. And he steals from Daniel Bryan on a regular basis yeah. now. I'm 100% original. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, you know, uh, after that, he, he says that he, he has no problem beating, because he's going to beat Neville at no mercy, mm-hmm. and then he's coming after him. Yeah. So. So the only thing that really aggravated me about this, well, obviously, we get a match between Miz and Enzo. This yes. was the whole reason Austin Aries is gone. Because he couldn't make it out of the cruiserweight division. And you now you have an inter technically Enzo's a part of the cruiserweight oh, division. Oh, you mean he was and he's pigeonholed? fighting a, a main roster. Something happened last night that has to do with this too. Really? Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh. It doesn't matter. It was my thought from Monday anyway. So no, I'm just I'm just oh, saying okay. that it's it's related to what you're talking Very about. Very good. Um anyway. So, uh, by the last night, I mean on 205 Live, yeah. to be clear. Yes. I, I, I got what you meant. Yeah. Um, well, not I know you knew, <laughs> but this is the Raw recap. So. Oh. Make sense now? I, I, I got it. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, after this, they, they, they have a match. Um, and it was terrible. Yeah, because I guess, what, Enzo challenges him. Yeah. And then they cut cut to commercial. They come back, and Corey Grizz is like, oh, hope, hope, hope Kurt Angle makes this match. Right. And then they come back, and then they had the match. Um, he did say a lot more than Miz, now that I think about it. Because he made a lot of reference to why like, Cass left him and mm-hmm. things like that. I'm just yeah, just thinking back, looking at mm-hmm. what, what had happened. So um, uh, the Miz knocks down Enzo. Then he go, rolls out the ring, grabs the microphone. I think Enzo did it first, right? No. I thought Enzo... No? The Miz was the first one. Okay. Um, so he tells... Um, I forget what he says. Uh, but he, he's just... Um, well, that was oh, when he no. said, how you doing? Yeah, he was kicking yeah. him, saying, yeah. how you doing? How you yeah. doing? Over and over again. Mm-hmm. And then um, Enzo knocks him down, or yeah, knocks he, him off the top rope. Yeah, the Miz. And then he grabs the grabs the mic and says, um, the only question that your baby's going to have to ask is, who's your daddy? Yeah, and that's when the Miz lost it and started jumping on him beating him down and mm-hmm. then the mistrage got involved and yeah and that, that was when the, the, the match, match got thrown th- out yep yeah so but yeah it was uh it was something it was it wasn't bad it was just like i said no, just the match was, that was garbage. stupid but you know it is what it is yeah it got it got We're not gonna get a five-star match with enzo in it anyway well obviously <laughs> but it was it was a decent Miz tv segment so oh yeah although it wasn't technically a Miz tv segment it originally was it. I think no, I that was, was last week that it was a Miz TV, wasn't it? No, I thought they originally had announced it as a Miz TV segment earlier in the night. Maybe, yeah, because I, th- I remember seeing yeah, that. The chairs but... and everything set up. Okay, yeah, I guess that was a precursor. Yeah, and then Enzo got tired of waiting, mm-hmm. so he did that. Yeah, right, yeah, because the Miz went on and said, "I call out the guests. You okay. don't just come out." Yeah, gotcha. So after that, Enzo's backstage walking around holding his head, and Neville comes up and just starts laughing at him. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Oh man, I hope he beats him up." <laughs> well. We'll, we'll see what happens next week. Yeah. Well, in a week, a week and, and a half. half. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, but yeah. So uh, after that. So we, even though we got all our big matches out of the way, we were still able to put on a decent main event. Well, yeah, this is technically a big match, though. Yeah, but I, 
how many times when you see a Roman show Reigns advertised yeah. versus Jason Jordan and, and Braun Strowman and John Cena, and I that guess wouldn't that's be the true. main event, you know? I guess that's true. But I guess maybe that's where they're having a dip in the ratings, maybe, in the hourly. You know, I don't know if it's... I guess. I have no uh, idea. It, it does. But the, here's the problem. I know that. the ratings There's no, don't matter. Well, that and the problem is that y- you don't know unless you're already watching. Right. Well, well fair enough. Yeah. So... That's true. You know what I mean, it doesn't matter when something's on if yeah. you're not watching. I mean, I don't know it. how many people just tune in and then really turn it off. I mean, yeah, you know, I don't know that many casual fans that it's either you watch it or, or you, you don't, don't watch it and you just watch the pay per views because I do know people that do that. Well, we used to do that for a while, right? No, I know. Yeah. So whatever. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we have the main event, which was the Hardys and Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins versus the Club and Sheamus and Cesaro. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I want to buy the club's new shirt. I really like that one. That's just random. <laughs> so um, before the match even starts, they all get in the ring and they all start beating each other up. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the for at the beginning of the match, the heels kind of dominated, isolating yeah. like they usually quick do. quick tags to everybody. Mm-hmm. In and out, and there's a lot of people to Dean? tag. I think Dean took the brunt of it. Yeah, but the um, I believe that the Hardys were. Like the first ones in because mm-hmm. they referenced that it's good to have people who weren't involved in anything earlier. Oh, on. okay, yeah, yeah, maybe. Matt. So it's either Matt took oh, the no, beating, Jim, yeah. I think Jim. Matt or Dean, one or the other. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. But either way, yeah. Um. So, but yeah, it was, it was a typical tag yeah, team match. Yeah. Um. Obviously, at the end of the match, there was a a ruckus. Yeah, the Hardys knocked Sheamus and Cesaro outside the ring, and they were kind of started just walking backwards up the ramp, just yeah. kind of looking at them. Because uh, I guess the idea was that Matt and Jeff weren't letting them get into the ring mm-hmm. to interfere, but like it just seemed like they had no interest yeah. in going mm-hmm. anywhere near the ring. So nope. it was just an odd portrayed mm-hmm. um, sequence. But uh, while that's going on, I think Seth hits the the high knee on. Um, I'm Anderson. Sure was, I'm sure it was Anderson. He always yeah. takes the and thing. then Dean hit a dirty deeds and then yep. pinned him for the win. And that was it. Yes, that so. was the show. That was raw. Yeah. So overall, a good show. Nice to see. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that was our raw review. Yes. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.